Hello there my fellow Holotable Heroes and welcome to another Galactic Challenge video. In this one we're taken to the planet of Takodana where we do have to take down a squad of bounty hunters using scoundrels to get max rewards. So as always I'll cover first the modifiers and defeats and then show you a few battles here for you today uh, that allow me to get max rewards. So I have actually three battles for you that I want to show you. The first one will be a bounty hunter team because yes all bounty hunters are scoundrels and then I'll do another scoundrel team with Beskar Mandalorian and finally uh, I'll do a uh, Palpatine there with Darth Vader for the damage over time feed. So if you're not interested in the initial details, you just want to skip through to the battle you're interested in, there'll be a YouTube chapter below as always. But now let's just first kick off with Safe Haven, which is the global modifier for Takodana. Yes, that's the one where you get inflicted with death mark. So whoever goes first, deals damage first, will get death mark applied on them until they're defeated. And then whoever deals damage next gets death mark. Now, unfortunately, the enemy there is very slow. So in most likelihood, you will go first and get death mark. It's just something you will have to work around. Uh, I didn't find it to be, to be honest, like too troublesome this time, because you know, you can quite quickly take these guys apart. One step ahead, player modifier, you get a little bit of extra health, but most importantly, you know, you do get some nice speed there as well, which will help you a little bit to outrun the enemy. And then moving on, onto the enemy modifier, Thrill of the Hunt, uh, where they will gain 9 stacks of true defense. This time it is working. Last time, as you remember, it was bugged when we were supposed to get true defense. But anyway, that's way behind us now. Again, not won't really make a whole lot of difference, to be honest, uh, in this battle. We'll take these guys down very, very quickly. Uh, now, the feats themselves, again, quite straightforward. You have to win after attacking out of uh, 20, uh, turn out of turn 20 times or more. We'll get it done with bounty hunters, not a problem at all. And then complete after um, attempting to inflict damage over time. Obviously, whenever you see damage over times, Darth Vader will be your man to get this done. And finally, you have to win the battle with a full team of scoundrel units. And because all bounty hunters are scoundrels, I'm just going to pull up my bounty hunter team. Now here in the video, I'm going with boss cleave. I think that if you do have aura, aura might be better because you will start obviously in stealth, except Bosk, uh, which will then allow you to hit the enemies without worrying about the counter attacks. Because with Ember Lead, right, they do have a chance to counter attack the enemies. Uh, but I appreciate not everybody maybe have aura, so just kind of went with a more maybe standard lineup here. Uh, with boss uh, in the leading slot. So let me show you now my mods and everything. Now my bounty hunters, they got quite decent mods on them because I do use them uh, in Grand Arena for taking uh, out many teams, especially obviously with Zem Omicron. Uh, Boba not really getting much use of him to be honest, so he doesn't have that great mods, but definitely the rest of the guys do have some nice speed on them. And obviously there with the Mandalorian, whenever he critically hits, he's giving extra bonus turn meter to the team. And the attacks out of turn will pretty much come from the mass assist, both from Bosk and Grief. So again, you don't have to really worry about it. It'll just happen. There's no Praetorn, so it's going to be very straightforward here to get the contract going. One mass assist on Mando, another mass assist on Mando. There you go, contract triggered. Let's get some ability blocks. I'm just going to go disintegrate Bosk before he gets a taunt and frenzy and everything. And let's see if we can blow up uh, Mando as well. There we go. No revives be when Django defeats there. Uh, here we go. Up next on Django. So my boss there. <laughs> there he goes. Man, I wish my Ambo would hit that hard. Anyway, let's just keep going. Just take Django out. There we go. Ah, uh, I think you can't critically hit Ambo, right? He's got a Zeta on him. Anyway, let's heal up. Uh, obviously, Death Mark will prevent revives, so Bounty Hunters is off. Will not help your Boba if he gets taken out. <sighs> Finally, enemy got a death mark. It just seems like most cases it always happened uh, that I always got death mark applied and I went next. Anyway, we should be good now. We just need one more disintegrate there on grief. Get him out, and there you go. We completed with a full team of scoundrel units because all bounty hunters are scoundrels. And as well, attacks out of turn uh, there happen as well due to all the mass assist as well. So, not a problem at all. So, Obviously, there's another way to do this if you do use just, you know, non-bounty hunter scoundrels, I guess there are various teams you could put together. Uh, I'm going here with the Mandalorian here, lead. Um, just uh, gave him a lot of speed for this one, just so he can go before the other guys, get these whistling birds and everything going. 
Now my scanners aren't that great. Uh, I'm just kind of, you know, in the process of getting uh, them relicked up and, you know, maybe modded better. Uh, so the, for the final two scarnels, for that reason, I'm bringing in Han and Chewie. Now Han will shoot first, which means he will get death mark applied on him. But luckily, you know, Chewbacca will be a little bit uh, there to help him out, heal up. And we've got damage immunity as well, obviously, from Beskar Mandalorian that we can take care of. Just stunning Bosk first, so he doesn't taunt or anything. Um, let's go into Whistling Bird stance, see if we can get a stun on the Mandalorian over there. Uh, push back turn meter on Bosk. Let's do an AoE now, getting some counter-attacks, uh, I'm just going to try and get a stun on Embo, perfect, oh, oh, ooh, what happened, alright, I lost Han, um, let's see if we can get Django out, ah, uh, it wasn't quite big enough, my Relic Freeman did not doing enough damage here on his Whistling Birds, unfortunately, uh, let's throw down an AoE, uh, get damage immunity over on um, Quill, well, he got a turn anyway, so... But at least we got now damage immunity on Beskar Mando. He's got death mark, so he won't be taking any damage. Down goes Django as well. Let's see if we can get a stun over there. There we go. Keep going after there. Bosk, try to get him out. See if we can get a stun on Grief so he doesn't cleanse the team. Beautiful. Another AoE, and we'll just keep going here. Another AoE. Oh, there goes uh, my Beskar Mando. Alright, now Embo's got death mark on him, so we'll get him out, but he's got foresight. Uh, okay, get him out. Boss coughing died there from damage over times. And now I got death mark again. So it's it took me I think like three attempts uh, to get done with his best Carmando. But again, my scandals aren't the best. Um, I'm just trying to show you know you can just go bounty hunters. I think that's the more straightforward path. But you know, you can get done this with some sort of a scoundrel team as well. And, you know, just down to, down to taking a Mandalorian, and there he goes. There you go, that's another scoundrel team here. Uh, that would potentially get down attacks out of turn as well, because all those assists and everything. So one more feet to go, damage over times, so obviously. Going in here with Pulp for the turn meter train, and you have mass stuns, so we don't have to worry about too much uh, them counter-attacking. Uh, Vader here, I have him modded for offense. I had to slow him down a bit, because I want my Malak to go first. Uh, so he deals damage first and then obviously he gets death mark applied on himself uh, And then you know death mark he pretty much doesn't take any damage from death mark So they'll just be stuck behind Malak uh, forever. That's why I did boost here speed on my Malak to 327 um, When he was like 307 I think Embo went first so Definitely want to get here speed close to 330 I think and you should be good to go. There you go We've got now uh, death mark over on uh, Malak Go ahead, Fracture Bosk, Force Crush, get those damage over times flow and uh, see if we can get Ability Block on Grief so he doesn't cleanse, nice. Just going after Grief first, try to get him out. Okay, try to get some more damage over times now. Alright. Okay, Ability Block maybe, beautiful. And now Mara can go get to work, get a stun over here. And now she can go into stealth as well. Uh, we got stagger, we got shock, they triggered Malak again, so we can do another drain over on grief. Uh, see if we can push back now all those staggers, push back turn meter. Let's go ahead now swap with pop, see if we can get a mass stun out there. Everybody except boss stunned, okay. Uh, let's try and spread those shocks again, so then pops can keep getting lots of bonus turn meter whenever he uses basic. Uh, because he gains, I think, like, is it 15% turn meter uh, for each shocked enemy? So, as you can see, Pops is getting a lot of turns here. Do um, you know what? I'm just gonna get a fracture on Bosk. Doesn't, doesn't look like we can stun him or something. Oh, there we go. Finally got a stun on him. Everybody stunned. This is all under control now. So, as you can see, pretty straightforward battle here with Palp Train. Just need to make your Malak fast enough there that he goes first. He gets Death Mark applied on him, and he obviously he's immune to the damage, extra damage there from Death Mark. And now just a case of, you know, doing another Force Crush here with Vader just to make sure you do get 30, because we still don't have any feet trackers available. At this point, I've pretty much given up that we'll ever get them. So just hopefully it was enough. Finishing off Embo there. Down he goes. And let's go and have a look, did I get 30 or not? I'm pretty sure we did, uh, but again, you never know. And there we go. Got the 30 damage over times here as well completed very very easily no issues at all you just have to make malak really fast that he goes first 
and this then allows you to get max rewards yet again in today's challenge. Alright guys, hopefully this video was useful and helpful, just showing you some of the themes that I tried today that worked really well for me. Uh, hope you find it useful, let me know in the comments below or my Discord server, but until then, have fun, enjoy your life, and may the RNG be with you my friends.